When someone is diagnosed with cancer, his or her world turns upside down, and so does the families. The treatment can sometimes go on and on for months or years. So having a resource for financial and other support is crucial. And that's where the nonprofit organization Stomp the Monster comes in. Susan Blumenthal and Michelle Shabbat are board members with the North Carolina chapter, and they're joining us now. Thank you for being here, ladies. Thank, Thank you, Sharon. Having. All right, first of all, tell us how did Stomp the Monster get started? So Stomp the Monster is a umbrella chapter of the main chapter based out of New Jersey. My girlfriend Andy, um, her brother was diagnosed with um, Hodgkin's lymphoma in 2010. He noticed the need for assistance and started a foundation, Stomp the Monster, based off of what his daughter referred to as stomping his cancer out. Mm. Okay. So they started the chapter. I loved what they were doing as I'm a physician assistant in oncology and I saw the need every day as well. So I loved what they were doing in terms of helping with the incidentals, so to speak. There um, are many, many beyond what health insurance or anything else might cover. So Michelle, talk about some of those areas that you're able to support a patient and his or her family. Well, what we do is we call them stomps and people will um, fill out an application the applications come to the board members. We review the applications. And we have done everything from giving people a card for groceries to paying rent to paying medical bills. Um, the other day, we had an application that was submitted and approved. And we bought a woman tires and brakes for her car. Wow. She was undergoing treatment. And unfortunately, her car would not pass inspection, which made it difficult for her to get to her treatment. So we um, approved her application and we actually paid for her tires and her brakes so that her car could be inspected and it's passed. so many of the practical things, the, exactly. the day to day living to be able to even go for treatment. That's exactly correct. So how do you raise funds? Well, we've, had, we've been fortunate to get a lot of private donations as well as a corporate donor, Landmark Aviation, um, and we are doing lots of fundraising. Okay, so you have some upcoming events we that do. members of the public can support by attending. Tell us about some of the things Absolutely. on the horizon. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> so our, our next event is going to be hosted at Ruckus Pizza um, in both the Morrisville and the Cary location. They will do a community give back donation based on um, the patron's bill. Sure. Um, so that was very successful for us in the past, and they've offered to do it for us again. Very nice. That's coming up April 8th through the 12th. So correct. That's if correct. I want to take my family to dinner, they'll take some of the proceeds and give them to stop the monster. Absolutely. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Yes. Nice. Which also, is nice because people are actually donating, and they're not have to, they don't have to give out of pocket. But sure. they're actually donating, so. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Also, you have a wine tasting coming up? We do. On May 11th, we have a wine tasting. It's going to be at the Haley Arts and Cultural Center in Apex. And people can buy tickets from the board members. That will be on our website, by the way, and all the information concerning that. And we will have a silent auction at the wine tasting as well. So we hope to raise a lot of funds from that as well. Very nice. Obviously, nonprofits rely on the support of volunteers as well. Absolutely. Are you Absolutely. looking for new volunteers? We are. Our biggest need right now is uh, an attorney who can help us with nonprofit law. Um, we are. Um, that's our biggest need right now. But we also need volunteers for um, both the wine tasting. Um, we are volunteering at the Iron Man Raleigh event. Ah, yes. So we'll need volunteers it's coming up there. Coming in June. Absolutely. Right, right. Yes. Um, so you can sign up on our website. Um, there is a specific link to sign up as a volunteer. Excellent. And we will be in touch. Right. Well, we wish you ladies the very best with your mission. And you can learn more about Stomp the Monster at their website at www.stompthemonsternc.org.